that's the one that it's going to say right. Attempt number 37 for the day. Um, it's cricket team. Oh. There you go. Kay. It's working. I'm Cassie Dunn, your local realtor. This is Mark Higgins. Good morning. Your neighborhood broker. Sorry we're a little late, guys. Mark was being a little high maintenance today and wanted a nicer camera, which I understand because it's been kind of like crappy quality. But that being said, it did not work. And so now we are late. That went totally down. You high maintenance screw <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good idea, but it did. The execution was valiant effort. It was horrible. Um, so first and foremost, we need to publicly apologize. Oh, we do. There was a little Shark Week incident that we, we may have been misinformed about, so. We won't <laughs> publicly shame the person who misinformed us, Morgan. Um, <laughs> Totally yeah. gonna gonna let her off the hook. Well, you know why I trusted Morgan on that? I don't know because she had a laptop in her lap <laughs> while she was telling us this. Other than that, she is like a Shark Week lover. She is like one of those freaks who love Shark Week. I don't hate it. I don't like record it. Well, no, but she actually over like over watches over it. it and she like anticipates it for the year. It's like how I anticipate Halloween, which is on a Saturday this year. Cool. Which I'm stoked about. But yeah, so we apologize for that, guys. If we led anyone to believe there was no more Shark Week, because apparently, because <laughs> apparently there still is. There is, and Shark Fest was maybe just like a prequel. Somebody else's like knockoff oh, version. Oh, it's That's like what it was. It's the generic version. <laughs> it's like when you get um, like I don't really have a good example. Yeah. Well, okay. you know what? Speaking of Shark Week, I have a very funny tidbit of information. Let's hear it. Well, you know Gretchen. If you, if you know anything about me, you know Gretchen is not my favorite person. But she did Don't something. Don't get political on this show. This is not political. This is she, my page. Don't get political. She said something really funny the other day. Not knowing she was on camera, she said, "It's not just Shark Week. It's Shark Week, mother effers." That's it's kind of funny. I've that is never, funny. never but she heard. She didn't know she was saying it, though, right? Well, she knew what she was saying. She no, didn't know she, she didn't was know on she... mic. But that's clear. It's funny to, just to see her act like you a know, human, like a normal person instead of the not, usual. Not all normal people drop the f bomb. Look at me. It happens. From time I'm to sure time. it slips out of my mouth once or twice a day. Yeah. It, if it you if you work in this industry and don't use certain words, you're not doing it right. The f word makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, Barb says she DVRs Shark Week. Shark Week. Well, where were you the other day when we were talking about? <laughs> yeah, Barb. Thanks for bailing us out. Shark Week. Jesus. <laughs> um, so we do apologize if anybody missed Shark Week because of that. Let me know. We'll get you a gift card to next <laughs> year's Shark Week. Shark Week's free. Not if you don't have cable. I guess. Well, Barb's got it recorded. We can just somehow. You're right. If you need a, what do you call that, recording, let us know. We'll find a way to get you one. Also, there's the internet. We'll probably just send you one. <laughs> <laughs> So last night, well, it wasn't last night. Last night I posted about it. So we've been discussing like office environments and office culture, office community, if you will. And I feel like a puppy would really, puppy or dog, it doesn't have to be a puppy. It doesn't have to be a puppy. It doesn't have to be a puppy. Could be a puppy. Would bring a lot of culture and a lot of love. And you know what else? This is a very high stress environment. What we do is very high stress. And I feel like it would bring like a lot of like oxytocin <laughs> and I serotonin. They, they say if you pet a dog, that's supposed to be soothing, right? So we'll have the only office dog with like a Bald Street dog back <laughs> where we rub I'm the just, fur right off. I'm just soothing myself. <laughs> right. So anyways, we had a lot of, I'm gonna open up my phone here, but we had a lot of really good suggestions on what types of office dogs to get, which by the way, all of you haters, who think that I'm not getting an office dog? I'll get an office dog. So while you're doing that, let's just let's just clear the air here. Cassie said we, as in like the office in general, was getting an office dog. Not happening. What I said was, if Cassie had a dog, her own dog, and it was hypoallergenic, and it didn't poop in the office or do anything else <laughs> weird in the office, because I'm you very poop in the office. <laughs> If you can train the dog to use the toilet, then I probably could. Them. But anybody who knows me knows I'm a little particular about the office being clean, being organized the way that I want it. Yeah, sometimes so when I walk in, you're following behind with a vacuum. 
once or twice. <laughs> um, so I want things a certain way. And a, it, and a dog could like visit if it's Cassie's dog and she brings it to work to visit. I'm totally cool with that. I love animals, love dogs. Generally, they love me. I did meet one in my life that didn't care for me so much. That's I just thought it looked tasty. I'm not sure how that maybe, worked out. Maybe it was like, that ham looks like a tasty snack. It looks delicious. Maybe I'm I ate a burger that do day. do it. I don't know. Um, don't so, so there's a couple different options for dogs. You can get a new puppy, which I have some... Hold on. I'm sorry it was involuntary. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so my friends Puppies have... Puppies do weird stuff. I don't want weird stuff on my floor. But the problem with older dogs is they don't always acclimate to the environment. So, you know, one one for the other like there's different there's different scenarios for each well you're gonna have to keep it at your house for a couple of six months until it's acclimated and trained six and all this months. stuff then once it's normalized okay let's let's talk about how many hours a week i work and then tell me if i've got six months to, i gotta train the dog with me it's gotta be on my hip all the time i'm only at the office like eight hours a day not eight hours a day I'm here like maybe three or four hours a day. All right then. And that's only because I'm scaling back a little bit because I'm tired. <laughs> um, yeah, so like normally I'm out in appointments. But anyways, people had some pretty good suggestions as far as like, see you said hypoallergenic. Has to be hypoallergenic. You said hypoallergenic. Which means it's gonna have hair and not fur so we won't have fur in the office because that will put me over the edge. Aren't you already over the edge? I'm on it. I'm teetering, maybe one foot hanging over. <laughs> so the edge is near. All right, well, anyways, we'll wrap this up. So anyhow, my friends just had a litter of Bernadoodles. That's a Bernese Mountain Dog and Doodle. Or Poodle. <laughs> doodle. 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 Um, and Poodle, which are very hypoallergenic. And... Don't Bernese Mountain Dogs have hair or fur? Aren't they very furry, actually? Yeah, but anything mixed with a doodle, like... Like cuts, like changes that fur. That's why people doodle things. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> but then, Maybe. then some know. people posted about different like rescue dogs. That would be my first choice. So maybe you and I should look into this link. By you and I, I mean I, and then I'll let you know what I decide. I was gonna say there we go with this wee stuff again, which it's really not a wee <laughs> thing. <laughs> this is on you. I just want to pet the dog once in a while. You won't take it out. Can come visit. Can you yeah, walk to the gas station with you? We have the big old, there's like two acres behind us. So you're telling me we have all this acreage and you've been such a like freaking staunch about it? Well, as long as the dog knows to go out there. If the dog knows. I'm totally good with that. I've never had a dog that hasn't known where to go. You've never had a puppy then. I have had a puppy. Because puppies don't give us. They'll go wherever the mood strikes them. <laughs> you know, you you have a lot of negative energy. I'm hungry. He we is hungry, so... We shouldn't do the show when I'm hungry. We should have got you a snack before the show. So we're going to go so he can eat because he's crabby. Kind of in crackle sauce right now. No. Um, he's normally much more friendly. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. We can get instead of a dog... Ice get, cream truck? No. <laughs> we should get a taco truck for the parking lot. <laughs> well, we have a taco place across the street, so it's probably Ooh, not. they might get, get there. However, me having to do the Frogger thing to cross Eureka Road to get my lunch. If you had a dog, he could walk with you. I'll be responsible for getting the dog across Eureka Road. <laughs> <sighs> me and the dog wouldn't fare too well. <laughs> All right, I'm getting bored with us. Me too. Let's, uh, we need to wrap this up so I can eat. All right. Well, if you guys have any suggestions on what types of dogs to get, let us know. We are going to look into, or I'm going to look into, um, some of his rescue dogs. And I'm going to go visit my friend's puppies too. Cool. Send us pictures. Post yeah, some pictures send so we can pictures. see. pictures. Also, if anybody's got a doodle, no better game than Frogger. That's the truth. I've seen him do it. <laughs> Luckily, you're so tall and your legs are just like bouncy. <laughs> um, People, everybody with a doodle of some kind, let us know if you love them and how their fur is. Mark is very concerned about fur. Yeah, I don't want dog hair in the office. It doesn't work for me. Oh, you know so what? You brought up Halloween. We are going to have a Halloween party this year, especially since it lands on Saturday. So, and yes, it is 
open to the public, not just employees, but um, we'll have more details later. We already have our costume set up. We do? Well, no, the idea of the costume. We have a, we have a theme. theme. That's all we got is a theme. <laughs> it's an idea. The rest of it will come together probably six hours before the actual party. <laughs> well, I really just need Mostly. more. I'm really close to already being in my outfit. All I know is we need a lot of candy and... I wonder what everybody's going to do at Halloween this year. I don't know. But we're going to make something cool work. It's right here in the parking lot. It's going to be fun. With the dog. Maybe with the dog. Possibly. Most likely with the dog. Or we could get a snake. <laughs> we got to go. <laughs> Bye.